inner product. Well, we have the following definition for two vectors. For two vectors in the same same space. So for two vectors with equal dimensions, so with n coordinates. We define the inner product or the dot product of these two vectors. dot product of u and v is the first coordinate multiplied u1 v1 plus u2 v2 plus u3 v3 etc until the last coordinates multiplied u and vn so this is no more than the sum from i is 1 to n of ui vi so actually the inner product of two vectors or the dot product of two vectors is a number. Well, this is denoted in various ways in, in, in the literature. Well, we stick to this notation with a dot, a clear dot. But you also find the following notation, so using the angles around brackets, u, v, Sometimes the comma is replaced a straight line. Yeah, so you see all kinds of variations, but we will stick for consistency, we will stick to the one here. Well, we have several properties. First of all, the first and important property is that the dot product of u with v equals the dot product of v with u. So we can turn these ter uh, vectors around. So this is usually a property that is called co commutativity. Secondly, if we take the dot product of a vector with a sum of vectors, then we may calculate it by taking dot products u with v plus v or u with w. This is called distributivity. It's a property that is that you find also for real numbers. A third property deals with scalars. So if we take the scaled version, so we have c times u, and we take the inner product with w, then we can take this constant out, this scalar. It's no more than c times the dot product of u with w. The dot product with, of u with itself uh, you see it's a sum, if we use this sum notation over here, then we get the sum of i is 1 to n of ui times ui, so it's the sum of squares. Then you see that it is at least 0 for all u, and it can only be 0 if all squares are 0, or in fact, we are dealing with the zero vector. So this is just a result from 4, basically. 